Well, it's been four years since a young Cleveland father was gunned down steps away from his home and his killer is still out there tonight. Kelly Kennedy spoke to the mother who's making a desperate plea to find the person who killed her son. It's a story you'll see on just one station. 24 year old Rakeem Ingram was shot and killed almost exactly four years ago, right here on West 32nd Street, just steps away from his home. His mom tells me she hasn't heard from police ever since her son's death, and she says detectives haven't returned her phone calls. Tonight, she's just begging for anyone who has any information to come forward. I, it's like I feel like he's not at peace because I don't have no peace because I toss and turn. I'm always teary eyed, I'm always sad. So it's like, me not having no justice, I know he ain't, he's not resting because we don't have no signs of who killed him. And this was in broad daylight. Erica Ingram hasn't been the same ever since she lost her son in September of 2019. It never gets better. It's an ongoing pain. It's a missing part of your life. You just learn how to cope with it. Witnesses told the Cleveland mother her son was talking on the phone when two men with dreadlocks drove up in a dark SUV. Then the passenger got out and shot him six times just dig up some of these unsolved mysteries you know unsolved murders you know help you know help a lot of these other mothers which i know i'm not by myself but help a lot of other mothers get justice she tells me her son's cell phone and his work id were both missing and as far as she knows police never found them so was her son targeted was it a robbery or was it all random that's what's puzzling because he was in prison for five years never been in this area he had just, he only was out four months. And the day before he got murdered, he was supposed to get off a of house arrest. She says since getting released from prison, her son had been focused on turning his life around. He was like, I just want to take care of my daughter. He had got a job. He was doing everything he's supposed to have done. So we, I'm thinking, okay, you know, you paid your dues. You about to have a second chance at life. She feels like police forgot about her son. And she's hoping that someone watching will call detectives with a new lead. I know they got this thing where don't nobody want to snitch. But I just tell them, just know if it, if it was at your doorstep. Because any given day, it can be at your do doorstep. And it's devastating. It's hard from the, the candlelight to the funerals to the everyday, the nightmares, the PTSD, the not sleeping. I did reach out to Cleveland police for an update on Rakeem's case. But so far, I have not heard back. If you have any information that could help police catch his killer, contact detectives. Reporting from the West Side, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.